Okay, so here is the problem. We have a lot of DNA in our cells. The human genome consists of three billion base pairs. And as our cells are diploid, this means that they contain two copies of the genome, which gives a total of six billion bases per cell. Now we know from the structure of DNA that there are about 10 bases per turn of the DNA molecule and each turn rises around 3.4 nanometers. Therefore, we can work out the total length of DNA in one cell in the body. So, let's do a quick bit of maths. We have 6 billion bases and we have 10 bases per turn. So divide 6 billion by 10 and that gives us 600 million. That is, there are 600 million turns of the double helix of DNA per cell. If each turn rises 3.4 nanometers, and a nanometer is 1 times 10 to the power of minus 9 of a meter, then we have 600 million times 3.4 times 10 to the power of minus 9, and that equals 2 meters. Or about the length of this skipping rope, which as you can see is longer than I am tall. However, there is some error in this value of 2 meters, and it is really only an estimate. The errors occur because the number of bases per turn is either 10 or 10.5, and the distance of the turns rising of 3.4 nanometers will also have some errors associated with it. Hence, an often quoted value for the length you will see is 1.8 meters. But however you look at it, 1.8 meters or 2 meters, that's a lot of DNA in one cell. And of course, the DNA is not as thick as this skipping rope. The DNA in our cells is only 2.2 nanometers or two times 10 to the power of minus nine meters across. However, on the football scale, the DNA would still be only 0.03 millimeters thick, but it would be 23 kilometers long and it would fit in a nucleus with a diameter of about 10 centimeters. That is, 23 kilometers of DNA would have to fit into a fairly small sphere. 